Do you need to add an appointment form to your WordPress website? Let me show you how. Hey Jotformers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly and I am already in my Jotform dashboard. So the first thing I want to do is make an appointment form. So I'm going to go ahead up into the top left corner. I'm going to choose to create a form Then I'm going to use a template for this. So over on the left hand side, I'm going to choose appointment forms and this first one looks great. I'm going to go ahead and use this one for our example. So let's take a quick scroll to see what this looks like. Perfect. So once we have edited this to fit how we need it to be, I'm going to head over to our WordPress site. And the first thing we want to make sure that we do is ensure that we have the Jotform plugin installed. So over on the left hand side, I'm going to come down to plugins. I'm going to add a new plugin by searching for Jotform. We're going to be installing the one on the right where it says Jotform online forms, drag and drop form builder, install and activate. All ready to go. I'm going to click on back to plugins in the top left hand corner. And from here, you can embed a jot form on either a post like a blog post or on a page. It's completely up to you. For this example, I'm going to go ahead and use a page. So I'm going to add a new page. And for this, I'm going to choose a blank page. Now we can either utilize the plus sign in the top right up here, or we can use this one here. It's going to have the same functionality. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this one. And we're looking for the classic editor, which is right here. But if for some reason it isn't in the top, all you have to do is just search for classic. And then once we choose it, we can see jot forms icon is now in that bar. So I'm going to go ahead and choose jot form and our forms are going to load in order of the most recent form created. So we can see that our appointment request form is right at the top. I'm going to go ahead and choose that form, then continue. Now, since we are an editor, it's not going to show us the form here. We need to go to preview to view it fully. So up in the top right, I'm going to choose preview on a desktop. Then we're going to preview in a new tab. And here is our appointment request form. And it is simple as that. If you have any questions about embedding your appointment request form in a WordPress site, please let us know and I'll see you next time.